Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update on this Friday big weekend ahead. We've got a lot of powder to talk about for a few locations. And the big news today was Alta breaking 800 inches, the first resort to do it. And they have, and there it is, 809 now, 30 inches in the last 24 hours. Who would have thought they've had like 45 to 48 inches of snow in the last roughly 40 to 48 hours. I mean, it's just been incredible to watch. The amount of snow, the amount of moisture in the snow has been really astounding this season for um, the Wasatch. And there's more. We have another really uh, potent storm system for the Wasatch in my forecast. I did write about it this morning on my blog. 800-inch all-time record set for Alta. It's the most snow they've ever seen. Um, Brighton's going to do it. Um, Snowbird's eventually going to do it as well. Uh, but snow forecast through 4.8. Take a look at it. I did a season total chart out at the top. That was as of this morning. Um, Brighton and Alta right there at 800. Snowbird this morning at 7.39. Mammoth breaking 700. Uh, Kirkwood and Palisades right there ready to break 700 inches. Jackson Hole's approaching 600. Wolf Creek's approaching 500. Um, and Aspen Highlands now over 4. 100 inches of snow so far for the season. That's the setup from this morning. A windy storm rocking and rolling its way through Colorado. Um, the forecast pattern from this morning showed a cutoff low on the southern branch through Utah and Colorado with a ridge trying to build into the Pacific Northwest. Some things have changed for the afternoon update. In fact, here it is. That cutoff low is now way down to the south. SoCal into the Baja. So that may not be a player. At least that's what this is saying here, the afternoon update, with a big ridge now more likely to build in to the Pacific Northwest. So we'll see how this plays out. Um, <clears throat> I want to take you back to my bullet points here. So the big bullseye now is the Wasatch. You got to see how much snow I've got coming for them. Um, the prime time is going to be for the Wasatch late on 4 2, running all the way through 4 5. And still looking at less snow for the Sierra now that the storm track has shifted. I really, I don't have that much now for the Sierra. It didn't look like it was going to be that way a few days ago. I was forecasting a lot of snow. All right, let's go back to, um, let's go back to my blog here. And I will go into timing. Oh, I did a breakout for Alta if you want to take a look at that. Um, Let's look at timing. So forecast radar and satellite. On Saturday morning, just waiting on the next storm system. Here it comes, starting to throw snow into the interior. Tetons and Wasatch. Idaho getting it. Here comes that storm system dropping down. Becomes a nice low for the interior. And then it begins to wind down on 4-5. Um, so there you go. Um, looking at just one main storm system. And let's, um, let's just look at how this plays out. So those are my forecast totals from this morning. Let me show you what I'm thinking this afternoon. So the rest of today through 4-2, some residual snows in uh, Colorado, and uh, pretty good snow for the Tetons, 6 to 12 coming. A couple of feet there through Oregon State. Um, here's period 2, 3-30, uh, excuse me, 4-3 uh, through 4-9. You can see the numbers, about 3 feet for the Wasatch on the way. Um, in Colorado, 6 to 12 will probably do it for most locations. Um, and in, let me just do a specialty map here. Zoom in on the Wasatch. Yeah, about three feet, maybe more. We could be looking at 38 total through Alta and Snowbird. Brighton, Solitude at about three feet. A couple of feet for Deer Valley and Park City. In the Northeast, it's more of the same. Just, I don't have much up there. One to four inches will probably do it. Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Just no big storm systems. But this is where the action is going to be. Power for graphic flow, that storm system coming in late 4-2 through 4-5 is going to deliver. I mean, we're looking at maybe another 2 to 3 inches of liquid equivalent, snow water equivalent. So, I mean, we're just pushing all kinds of records. Um, you know, with this, that puts um, Alta, you add another 38 to 310, and you're looking at, you know, almost 300 and and um, 50 inches of snow, or 850 inches of snow. Almost 850 inches of snow. Incredible stuff. 
All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this afternoon update. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there.